Welcome to the last day we should be drilling any holes in the roof. Today we're going to be fitting solar panels. Now this is two 170 watt panels, so it gives us 340 watts of solar. And uh, in order to fit it, we've got these brackets that I bought from Amazon, which I'll link in the description box below. Which are very lightweight, I think they're aluminium, and uh, nicely powder coated. We've got the fitting kit to go with it, a couple of extension cables. Um, we've got these Y pieces, two of them, so we can put both the black wires and both the red wires together so that they come through, through into the van as one circuit. Uh, I'm going to fit these brackets to the solar panels so they go on, I'll show you here, <coughs> they go on that way around. So the solar panel screws through these two holes here um, and then these two here go into the roof. We've got plenty to do the solar with. The only thing missing from this kit is the little box that protects the wires going, waterproof box to protect the wires going into the roof. That's because it hasn't arrived yet, but by the time I get to that point, I'll have it. Uh, so I think what we need to do then is get all of this lot up there, get me up there and I'll meet you there. Welcome to my roof. Uh, as you can see, I've got everything up here now, apart from I forgot to pick up the tiger seal, which I'll go and grab in a moment. We'll need that when we stick these down. So going into a bit more detail, these brackets, um, obviously I've turned the solar panel upside down. These are gonna go that way around. So this wider base is what's gonna go into the roof. Now I've gone for these brackets, which are different to what I've used last time. Uh, I normally use the white plastic ABS molded ones. Um, these ones I've gone for because I didn't realise these are actually designed for roofs that have got ridges on. So you can mount them there or there or there. Whereas the big plastic ones, they're a much bigger footprint and don't allow for these ribs. So they're better for flat roofs. So we're going to go with these and uh, fitting them is pretty easy. So obviously we've got two holes there and we're going to drill two holes in the side of the solar panel in the aluminium edging. And then with the kit, I've separated this into the two solar panels. So here's our four brackets. Um, and then we've got these self-tapping, self-drilling screws. They're the ones that are gonna go through the bottom of the base into the roof with a layer of tiger seal. And these here are our nuts and bolts. And they are what are gonna secure these brackets to the aluminium panel. I've got to decide if I'm gonna go sideways on or forwards on. Um, I think I'm going to go sideways and uh, what I'll probably do is line them up because of my OCD, line them up with that corner like that on all four corners on both panels and uh, then we'll get drilling through the roof. Brackets are all on and uh, actually they look quite smart, really pleased with them. Um, only thing I would say, the only criticism is that the kit didn't come with washers for the uh, screws, screw heads. Um, so you end up with a like a little shiny ring around it if you're not careful which is a bit disappointing but it's aluminium so it won't rust um yeah so the next thing i need to do then is figure out where on the roof i'm going to put them uh, i'm not going to put tiger seal on yet because it'll make a hell of a mess of my roof but we'll figure out where we're going to go and um then i need to join the uh, male and female plugs together um with the y pieces and um then we'll yeah we'll then look at where we're um, where we're going to go. I need to leave space for the cable, the junction box to come through the roof. Um, so I'll probably put that at the front. I think it'll look a bit neater to be at the front, and then also keeps all my cables away from the rest of the build. If it's at the front, that's normally where I put my solar controller as well. Um, so it's completely out of the way. Um, I might even hide it in a cupboard this time. And uh, so yeah, I think let's, let's figure out the solar panels first, but we'll, we'll, we'll bear in mind we're gonna leave space, leave space for that. I think we found our setup. I quite like this, um, it's very smart. And uh, I can overlap the holes in the middle and on this side, it just comes off the edge here. So um, I think that'll look really good. It leaves plenty of space here um, for either part of the decking or my roof box. I've also got a roof box to go on. I think we'll, we'll go with this. It also gives space if I want to expand the solar um, setup in the future. Um, there's plenty of space where I'm sitting as well. 
um, for putting another one long ways. So what I need to do next then is join the wires with the adapters that I've left all the way over there and uh, tiger seal the feet of these and, uh, and screw them in. Solar panel number two is now secure. Uh, yeah, next thing we need to do then is look at these Y pieces and get them fitted. So what we've essentially got here is two male ends going into a female. So we'll attach the two female ends to the male ends and goes to one female and vice versa with this one. Uh, and it is literally just a case of clip them in. So we're gonna just push that in there and then get the same one from the other side and do that. Like so, let's just untangle these. And then do the same thing here. So what we've now essentially got is two cables to come through the roof, but from two solar panels. Um, so like I said, the box will come uh, well, for me, the box will come in a couple of days. Uh, for you, it will be about 30 seconds. Uh, and then we will feed these in. Well, we'll probably put the extensions on those. I don't think there's enough cable to reach. Um, and then they'll go into the waterproof box. These are obviously waterproof plugs. Uh, that will go into the waterproof box that goes into the van. For now, that will just I'll just tidy that up and keep that somewhere out of the way. Uh, in a few weeks time when I come to do the video on the electrics that's when we'll start plugging all of this in. The part has arrived. It's another day. Um, this is another week and uh, yeah this is the bit we were waiting for. This is it's not really a junction box it sits on the roof the wires for the solar panel can go through each of those as you can see inside they've got a rubber seal so water shouldn't be able to get in and um, yeah, you just put a hole in the roof that sits over the hole and then the wiring can feed through and then that screws and glues to the roof so it doesn't come off uh, as you can see the solar panels are looking good um, from the side there they are i do want to put some kind of aerodynamic spoiler kind of thing on the front just to divert the airflow away from well like over the solar panel rather than underneath it, just because if they're you know, 60, 70 mile an hour, a big enough gust of wind, maybe it would still pull the solar panel off, I don't know, but it would also look better. Um, so that I'll do at a later date. But for now, I need to climb back up on my roof and fit this. So welcome back to my roof. I've had a bit of a play. Um, these ends don't fit through the junction box, which I wasn't too sure whether they would or not. Um, so what I've decided to do is mount the box all the way over there and uh, these cables I can then cable, I can attach to the side of the solar panels so they're neat out of the way they're not going to flap about and somewhere yeah I've brought up the additional cabling so I can feed that through the roof that box then will then be screwed and tiger sealed to the roof and uh, yeah, plug them in and we should be in business. That will then pretty much be everything up here until I get to doing the decking and uh, the roof box and the hot, the solar shower, which will be coming up later on in the series. So make sure you're subscribed. Right, so. The hole I drilled is right in the middle of the van. Uh, of the roof and so I fed the wires in and sort of moved it oh, there you go you can see them I just need to get them out of that channel <laughs> so they don't just fill the channel up one through okay I think that should be right all right, there we go. It's not pretty, but it's functional. That was a bit tricky considering the angle of it. It probably would have been a lot easier to have done that before fitting the solar panels, but hindsight is wonderful. Uh, all that's left is plug these in. So these are, as I said earlier in the video, um, they'll only fit one way. So that one is definitely positive. And this one, 
Oops, definitely. I'll go that side around. Very negative. There we go. So that is connected. Technically, that is making electricity. It doesn't look very pretty, so I've got these sticky pads to uh, connect up on the side here and then chuck some cable ties through, which to be honest, I'm not convinced they're gonna be, I'm not convinced they're gonna be perfect, um, but I've never used them before. I've got a whole pack of them, never used them. Uh, let's start with. Just stick a cable tie through them. There we go. Nice neat wiring for your solar panel. That's it for this video. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Any comments, chuck them in the box below. Subscribe, like the video, and see you next time for the next step of my camper build.